Hi, my name's Craig Berry. I'm 43. I'm from London. I'm currently playing Bill in Mamma Mia on the Allure, hence the beard. This is my audition for Edna Turnblad of Hairspray for the Symphony. Yes? Yes, thank you so much. I'm sure Tracy appreciates your vote for Miss Teenage Hairspray. Yes, and she loves you too, very much, whoever you are. Goodbye. Mama, did you see me? Did you see me? Of course I did. It was on television. I had to. The phone's been ringing like we was a telethon. So you're not mad? Mad? How could I be mad? You're famous. If only you'd told me you was going to get on the show, I never would have said you couldn't. Are you happy, hon? Yes, Mama. And I think I'm in love. I know. I've been following. But you and I are going to have to have a talk about crooners. We can learn a lot from the mistakes of Miss Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> oh, there it goes again. Hello? Yes, this is Tracy Turnblad. Hello, Mr. Pinky. Mr. Pinky? The Mr. Pinky, as in Mr. Pinky's hefty hideaway quality clothes for quantity gals, that Mr. Pinky. You want to hire me as your exclusive spokesgirl? That's very flattering, but I'm afraid all business must go through my agent. It would be our pleasure. We'll be right over, Mr. Pinky. Goodbye. An agent? I don't know any agents. How about a nice bail bondsman? Mother? I'm taking my new agent to the hefty hideaway and then out on the town. Who? Me? Oh, no. You need a top-shelf professional. Now, who handled the Gabor sisters? <laughs> well, who didn't? Mama, there's a great big world out there that I know nothing about. When things get rough, a girl needs her mother. Hun, I'll be right beside you, if that's what you want. And together we'll claw your way to the top. Only... Can't we do it over the phone? Oh, hon, I haven't been out of this apartment since Mamie Eisenhower rolled her hose and bobbed her bangs. Hello? Yes, Mr. Pinky. Y yes, I saw the headlines. I don't know why they had to put Tracy in solitary confinement. She's the only one in there. Of course, I understand you have an empire to protect, but Mr. Pinky, she's just a little girl, and little girls make mistakes. If they didn't, where would other little girls come from? It, it, it is too bad. Goodbye, Mr. Pinky. Oh, Wilbur! This is a real my doll moment. Mr. Pinky just called Tracy Jailbait and me a, a liberal. You can't worry about people calling you names. You know how many times I've been called crazy? But I say, yeah, crazy. Crazy like a loon. Anyway, I got just what Tracy needs here. Stand back. What do you think? Isn't it a doozy? Impressive, but how's that little thing gonna help out Tracy? You'll be surprised. Oh, sure. You're a visionary inventor saving the day. Tracy's a teen idol reshaping the world, and what am I? I had a dream too, you know. I used to make all my own clothes, remember? Until I wandered beyond the boundaries of the largest McCall's patent. But I always dreamed that one day I would put out my own line of queen-size dress patterns. You were good, Edna. Yeah? <laughs> and where's it gotten me? Twenty years later, I'm still washing and mending and ironing everyone else's clothing. One day, Edna. No day, Wilbur. My time's come and gone. I'm a worn-out pair of bobby socks and the elastic's all stretched. <laughs> oh, Wilbur. I suddenly feel so old. Nonsense, doll. You're as spry as a slinky. Whenever I'm near you, it's like grabbing hold of a giant joy buzzer. Holy cow. 
cow. You're timeless to me. I'll always call you home. Shabbat shalom. You're timeless to me. You're timeless to me. You don't look Jewish. You're timeless to me. Well, you can't always tell. <laughs> sure you can. <laughs> You're timeless to me. Stop my happiness Cause I like the way I am And you just can't stop my knife and fork When I see a Christmas hair 